Hey guys, so I'm back. Okay, it was about customs. What is really a custom? What's the difference between a custom, a private order, buy it now. Boom, I remember. I remember. <laughs> okay, anyway, before I forget, I'm not even gonna tell you guys. Only thing I am gonna say is subscribe. So anyway, so custom. To me, a custom order is when you get to pick out all the details of your baby and you have the specifics to the artist. And let me explain the specifics. A custom order can be, there's a semi-custom and then there's a custom custom. I guess everything is custom, it's custom if you customize anything. But to me, custom is specific skin tone, specific eye color, specific type of hair, specific type of look that you're you're going for that is a custom for me um a private order is i'm picking the kit you're getting free range um to paint it however you please for the most part um semi-custom would be i'm picking as an aa or biracial or caucasian or you know whatever you know a skin tone range so to speak um definitely when you're going with aa or you know when you say i want an aa baby that can be a range from high yellow to um chocolate um you know cream vanilla um Pale, you know, it, that, I mean, it's a thousand and one different skin tones in African American. So, uh, yeah, you know, that's, you know, that's the way that go. Um, buy it now means the baby is ready to go and they got a price tag on it and they want you to buy it now. Uh, buy it now. Buy it now. Now, sometimes with buy it now, people offer layaways. And that's still considered a buy it now because the baby's already ready. Meaning, don't come telling me, oh, because you got it on layaway for 30 days. You know why you got it there? You think you could change the eyes from blue to green, no ma'am? No, no ma'am. Um, can you, I know you advertised and you said it would be coming home as a boy. Can you make it a girl, no ma'am? You could go buy girl clothes, no ma'am. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So that's the difference. Now, in my opinion, y'all, I prefer, in most cases, I prefer buy it now because I know what I'm getting before I get it. Um, customs is a rare thing for me, but I will do them. Um, private orders, I do those more than actual customs because I like the artist to feel free and be able to do what they want. Um, because I feel like you get a better baby when you do that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the difference. Um, then there are the work in progress pictures. WIP. You know, when I first came in the community, they had all these different things like LLE. Um, or LE limited edition. What was it? And then it was... Um, long sold out and um there was uh the what was it um bol the first time i saw somebody someone posted up um i'm you know putting this baby on ebay blah 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 um uh, and then another artist posted up under that artist picture bol and i was like Oh no, that heifer did. And time I busting out laughing, like, oh, your doll ain't gonna sell heifer, whatever. That's how I took it. You know, so the whole time I'm like, and I kept seeing this same artist would always put BOL under people's stuff. And uh huh. Oh, you got some nerves. But that's not what they mean. They mean best of luck. Oh. Oh. Okay. And then Whip, I was like, so let me whip and let me nay nay. So let me whip. But I was just like, I didn't think it was a song that they was talking about. I just was like, um, whip. Um, such and such whip. And I'm like, 
Okay, what that got to do with what is this? What what is this whip? It's crap. So then someone explained to me that that stands for work in progress, meaning they're not done yet. It's not finished. They are in the process of getting the baby completed. And a lot of artists do it to show you the transition of it turning from a, a kit or basic sculpt into a lifelike doll. So, you know, all these different sayings. There was another one. What was another one that they used to put? Oh, <clears throat> oak, O O A K, and I used to be like, first of all, you ain't spelling it right. Second of all, okay, is it made out of oak? Like, you know, I used to be like, what is this? And then I thought, okay, oak, everything that was oak. Eventually, I found out that an oak. I didn't really find out, found out, but I thought I found out. That, that meant it was clay. So every time I seen an oak ball doll, I didn't care if it was a reborn. I don't care what. I was like, oh, that's the clay. That's the clay version. You know, I got that. You know, no, no. O O A K people mean one of a kind. And I've learned that every big time that they say O O A K does not mean that it really is a one of a kind. People like to say it's one of a kind because let's say I do a baby. Let's say I did. 14 Gabby Gills by Claire Teller. You know, I really did do that. Whatever. And <laughs> so, let's say that out of all the babies, I only did one awake, and they all, and that one had red hair, blue eyes, and then I slap oak. It's not really an oak, but it's a one of a kind of the ones that I did. Uh, okay. You know, the old collectors want to slap the fire out of us for saying stuff like that because they be like, yes, not an oak. I saw an argument several times on this and it was just hilarious because these old old school collectors that know their stuff, honey, they will get you right together. Listen, you can you better get this terminology together. When you're trying to have a conversation with them, it's like you is you are in class. You are in straight up class. You are getting graded. You are getting a rep a report card at the end of the week you will get booted out of a group you better use correct grammar don't be short and don't be smh smfh wtf wth lol bol you can say bol if you mean best of luck but you better not be doing all that they i think they are now accepting the lol you can say haha -ha, h a h a if you're um, from Spain or something like that is is Jaja, J-A-J-A, J -A -J -A, I think. Oh, girl, look at me. And I'm probably wrong anyway. But anyway, nevertheless, get your stuff together when you're trying to talk to these people that, that's been collecting for a while because, girl, they would get you together. So there's all these different terms and all that. I'm not big on the terms. I don't care what you call it. But, you know, um, that's like uh, the doll that uh, Joanna K did. She said, the Lulu, it was a one of a kind. I would say that would be a no. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But then it was the only. No, because wasn't it another one came after that? In silicone? Uh, anyway, nevertheless, I'm not sure. But anyway because there was the vinyl that came behind it. And um, so I just, I, I have a hard time calling that a one of a kind. My definition of a one of a kind is, let's say like the oak, the actual oak, that's a one of a kind. Or let's say if you make a doll, one silicone doll poured off of a mold and there is no more poured after that none whatsoever i remember when romy um was at a doll show one year and i was at the doll show and she had these preemies that she auctioned off and okay here's the auction you did a drawing not auction she did a drawing and if your name got pulled guess what you get to buy it <laughs> no you didn't get to win it honey you got to buy it the, you, the, yeah so anyway a couple people one, they were like $2,500, which was really good, right, for a Romy doll. Because back then, her, her prices was really still up high. And she said that um, 
the mold had broke and basically those were the only two that will ever be made because I don't know something blah 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 so I was standing there and I thought oh wow and I thought they were really cute I liked them mm. you know they wasn't of course maybe her best pour but I really liked the little preemies that she had did. I thought they were so cute. I was really, I got to go in and, and look at, you know, one and, and undress it and really look at it, look at it, right? With one of the collectors that bought it. Um, and um, so, so um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if she got a little teed off because one particular collector decided to sell the, the doll for a higher price, like less than 30 days of buying it on Doll Fan, which was a whole nother blowout. I'm not gonna get into that. But Romy came out and did a small announce. I'm gonna do a small edition of this doll. I thought that was the, I, I didn't think it was nice at all, to be honest. And even though me and that collector is not good right now, I felt bad for her and I thought that was kind of bad because that kind of killed her sale too because it was like the doll would have sold for more because you can't get them anymore. But now here sh the, the sculptors say, guess what guys, I'm going to do three more or four more or whatever of these. <laughs> Romy, Romy so petty. <laughs> Romy is so petty. Okay. Look, Romy said, you're not finna make money off of me, heifer. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> so, Romy came out and I said, well, damn, how the mole magically got fixed? But anyway, the lies we tell. But, uh, anyway, so anyway, uh, I'm not gonna get in trouble for saying all this, but it did happen. But, um, and it was public, so it, it, it can't be no secret. But that's old news. Nevertheless, I'm sure... She not the first and won't be the last people to decide, oh, you know what, I'm going to rip, maybe she repaired the mold. Maybe she, you know, had a backup or something. I don't know. You know, but it's, the thing is, is maybe she seen that it was such a interest in them that she decided, you know, or maybe she just said, hey, Heffa, you're not going to double your profit off of my doll. I'm going to, I'll make my own profit. So I don't know, but that that was one of the things. But yeah, one of a kind, back to the subject. One of a kind is definitely um one of the terms that I think I that I've seen the most misused in the community. Um just as well as like people saying biracial. Everything is biracial. If it got curly hair, it's biracial. If it has dark hair, it's biracial. If it has brown eyes, it's biracial. If it has the little line at the tip of the finger, that makes it biracial. Um, if you put a little bit more darker color on the ears, that is biracial. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different terms, but you learn them as you go, and it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I say don't get so caught up in the terms. Just get caught up in what you like. If you like the baby, you know, if they call it Shazoo, you know, they call it one of a kind, two of a kind, 15,000 of a kind, and you like it, buy it. You know what I mean? If you got the money, you want it, get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get, 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 get it, girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't play. Don't, don't even, don't even worry about it, because... It's always going to be somebody that's got something to tell you that's going to tell you that you're saying something wrong or you did something wrong or blah, 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 blah. Listen, this hobby has so, it's an addiction and it's so many amazing dolls and different styles and techniques and, you know, people like, oh, that's not the soft silver tool clone. It's not the memory foam, you know. Oh, yeah, but these are dolls because they are memory foam and all this and stuff. And then you got the, oh, well, my armatures do this. And bet my doll is better than your doll. And my doll can bend farther than your doll. And look, my doll neck can touch its toes. And it's like, you know, uh, okay, get what you like. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I am glad that I remembered, and I will see you in the next video. All right, until then, make sure that you get your merch.